can't possibly lie to him and tell him that he's good. I don't know him, and I don't you think that he's going to feel he's been lied to. Um, no, I don't think he'll know. I think he needs some help. Okay. Excuse me? Yep. Um, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Um, my, my best friend, he's trying to get a job, and, um, it, it was, like, really last minute, and he needs, um, he needs a, someone to say good things about him, that he's a hard worker. He is, he's really a hard worker, but can you just help me out? Like what? I mean, uh, I don't know how to answer the questions. I mean... Um, no, no, just, just say it. Just give him an endorsement. Just say that he works hard, and he, he, um... He always comes to work on time and things like that. That's, that's it. Well, what, what if they ask me about? They're not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna say anything. I just need you. To, just, just need you to talk. What's his name? Um, his name is Darren. Darren? Yeah. Okay, who's on the phone now? What? No one's on the phone. It's just a voicemail. Oh. Voice. Can you just talk, please. Just right now? Yeah. Just, just, a, just like two sentences. I know, but what is it, Darren? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You got to dial the number for me, right? Yeah, he's on, it's on right now. Oh. oh. Um, hi, well, this is uh, uh, for Darren. Yeah, Darren is a hard worker, and uh, so uh, he's been working hard for us, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will use him for the new job. Thank you. Can you lie to my doctor and tell him that uh, I took my medication? I, mean, I know it sounds weird, but can you do this? Well, yes, I'm going to weep. No, I didn't take it. So, what's your response? I mean, I don't really know anything it, about your doctor. Oh, I just needed you to tell him that he took his medication. Uh, what? Yeah, but what am I going to say that? Well, huh? Oh, um, it's just on the voicemail. Yeah, where am I? Just um, say that you, you're like just a witness that you did it. No? No, maybe you should ask somebody else. Sorry. So you refuse? To yeah, do? I don't really know anything about medication, so I don't really know if I'm really doing anything, you know, anything good for you or not, right? It's not really a big deal, but. Okay. Uh, can you do me a favor? Um, can you can you lie to my probation officer and tell him that I'm at home? <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but just hear me out. Um, he's just not he's not there, and I just I just want to take a break. So can you just tell him that I'm at home? Um, I don't think I can help you with that. Um, Why not? Uh, I have ethics in my life, so ethics? I cannot break it. Okay, so, uh, I mean, can you please do this? <laughs> Just this one time? <laughs> For me, sorry, can I? Okay, so you're free to do this? Yeah, I don't think I'm uh, the right person. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm sick at home, please. But just, just tell him that I have a fever. Just say that um, Keyshawn has a fever. Can you say that, please? Wait. Okay. Put on mute. Now, can you just say that? What's your name? Keyshawn. It, it's, it's on voicemail, so it's on his phone. Just say that. Just say that uh, he has a fever. Keyshawn has a fever. He's sick. He's sick. He can't go to work. He can't go to work. Okay, thank you. Okay. I have a coworker who has been stealing at my job, and um, I think I, have to, I should tell my boss that he's stealing, but I don't want to because I, he's my my coworker is going to be mad at me. So I was wondering if you could um, 
like tell my boss that he's been stealing, that there's a guy that's been stealing the job. Oh no. Uh, I come out. Can you please, please do this, please? I mean, it's just, you just need to go on his voicemail and no, talk. No, I cannot. Um, there's no way that you could do this? <laughs> so you refuse to do it? Oh, no.